If you were wearing a cotton t-shirt and jeans and got as close to the flames as these firefighters, there's a pretty good chance your clothes would already be on fire. The fact that they can endure the flames and heat is in no small part thanks to the skill of textile finishers. It's a flame retardant material, um, but the most important thing is it's got good thermal protection, so it actually protects us from really extremes of heat. You know, we're going into fires that, you know, above us we're talking about one and a half thousand degrees centigrade, obviously getting cooler going down, but we're walking, working extremes of heat where you just could not physically go in. You would get serious burns if you weren't wearing this kit. The base for the uniforms is made from what's called an aramid, a man-made fibre discovered in the 1960s. It's resistant to heat, so it won't melt or catch fire in normal conditions. But being fireproof and offering protection from heat aren't the only properties these uniforms need to have. As water gets sprayed on the flames, a lot of it turns to steam. And as anyone who's put their hand over a boiling kettle knows, steam burns. In the case of car accidents, there's also a risk of petrol soaking into fabrics and making them burn. Protecting the firefighters from these risks means making their uniforms repel water, petrol and oil. And that's where chemical finishing comes in. This time, it's only a training exercise. But when it comes to the real thing, Getting the finishes right means firefighters can stay near the flames much longer. In fact, advances in finishing have been so good that some firefighters think modern-day equipment is almost too protective. It, they used to say that in the old, old days, as soon as their ears started to get too, too hot, that was the time to get out. We don't have that now, which is why we have to be aware of other things about how we're feeling. So there's a risk, obviously, that you can get too insulated from the heat, but your core, core body temperature is actually increasing all the time. So we're well trained on understanding our own bodies and make sure that we get out in good time. The technology is still in its development phase. But if David's predictions come true, within 10 to 15 years, clothes with smart finishes won't just be able to tell firemen if they're getting too hot, they'll be able to tell you when you're about to go down with the flu.